Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Introduction to Selenium, I am going to explain the types of applications that Selenium can automate. So what are the types of applications that Selenium can automate? First of all, let me mention the types of applications we have in the market. One of the type of the applications are web applications. Okay, what are these web applications? Any application which runs on the browser, okay, it can be any browser, Chrome browser, Firefox browser, Opera browser, uh, uh, Edge browser, okay, Safari browser, and so on. Any application which, which runs on the browser are nothing but web applications, okay? What are web applications? Any application which runs on the browsers are known as web applications. For example, I'll give you something. Let me open this Chrome browser. You see, I'm going to open an application in the Chrome browser here. Any application that runs on the browser, for example, here tutorialsninja.com slash demo application. You see, this application runs on the browser. Hence, this application, with the help of this URL, we can access this application on the browser. And hence, this application is nothing but what? Web application. And generally, the famous applications we generally use every day uh, like amazon.com okay so in india it is amazon.in uh, internationally it is amazon.com if you press enter here you see you can access this amazon application via the browser okay you can access like this uh, there are other applications like facebook.com okay i will show you facebook.com is there flipkart.com all these applications which can access on the browsers are nothing but web applications okay some examples are like amazon.com flipkart dot com okay so like that guys these are web applications coming to the other type of applications uh, are nothing but desktop desktop applications what are these desktop applications some people also call it as window based applications uh, okay or any other type of applications so desktop applications generally it's a better word to use here is desktop applications so the applications okay any application which runs directly on the operating system that you are using, okay? Operating system that you are using. For example, I am using, in my laptop, I am using which operating system? Windows operating system. Any application which runs directly on this operating system is nothing but a desktop application, guys. You see, I have a lot of desktop applications here, okay? Okay, I have a lot of desktop applications here, guys. Whatever the software that you are currently seeing, there is paint software where I am, drawing all this stuff for you or explaining the things for you is a desktop application. Okay. Because this came by default with the uh, operating system anyhow, but there may be some software which doesn't come by default and which still will run on the directly on the operating system. One example for this desktop application is like page. Okay. Which is a default, which comes with the operating system by default. But uh, I'll, I'll give you an example of uh, an application which doesn't come by default in the operating system and still it uh, directly runs on the operating system and it falls into the desktop applications category. That is, for example, Adobe Acrobot app. Okay, for example, this one. I have to install it, guys. I have, soft, I have downloaded this software and installed it. Then only I got this, okay? You see, Adobe, for opening any PDF file, okay? For opening any PDF file, right? If, for example, this PDF file I want to open. Uh, let's see whether it's opening or not. Yeah, you see this PDF if I have to open. You see, I have to use this Adobe Acrobat Reader. This software I have to download and install, guys. Okay. So if I if I take you to my control panel and show you the applications, okay, control panel and show you the applications here, we'll see that Adobe Acrobat being there. You see Adobe Acrobat. Okay, I use a lot of softwares like Avidemix for uh, merging the videos. Okay, if I have uh, split uh, splitted videos and I want to merge into a single video, I'll use Avidemix. Okay. For taking my notes, I have used Evernote. All these softwares directly run on the operating systems where they got installed directly. And these applications are known as desktop applications. Okay. Now we have one more major category of, we may have other type of applications, but uh, web application, desktop applications, and other type we have is a mobile application. Okay. Other famous one is the mobile applications. What are these mobile applications? Any application which runs, I, or can be installed and can be opened and uh, run on the mobile devices. Okay. 
So here I'll write any application application which can be installed on mobile devices, okay? Which can be installed or which will come by default also. Some mobile applications will come by default. You don't have to install also. And B can, can be used on mobile devices are known as mobile applications, okay? For example, we can use WhatsApp, okay? WhatsApp is a mobile app. We can download, if you're using Android, then you will go to the Google Play Store and from there you will download this WhatsApp mobile app and you will use it. Like we have Amazon app and a lot of apps are there, okay? Which uh, are into the mobile application. So guys, uh, you got the high level idea what are web applications, desktop applications and mobile applications with examples. So in this different type of applications we have, which type of applications, which type of applications that Selenium can be used for automation purpose, okay? Which type of application can be automated with the help of Selenium? So here the question is, which type of applications that Selenium can be used for automation purpose? The simple and straightforward answer for this is only web applications. Desktop applications cannot be automated with the help of Selenium. Mobile applications cannot be automated with the Selenium. Selenium can only automate the web applications. That is applications which run on the browser only can be automated. If someone asks you whether this application can be automated using Selenium, okay? The simple thing that you have to do is whether you can access that particular application on the browser, on any of the browser, if you're able to access the application, that application is nothing but a web application and that kind of applications can be automated by Selenium. Remaining all type of applications, which directly run on the operating systems or which can be installed and used on the mobile devices cannot be automated by Selenium. For automating the desktop applications, we have to go for other automation tools like UFT, Test Complete, etc. Okay, the famous one for mobile application autom uh, automation is APM. We have APM in the market, which, uh, which is also very good and can be used for mobile application. Even UFT Test Complete can also automate the mobile application, but APM is kind of preferred. So Selenium can only automate the web applications, guys, but the most of the applications, okay, if you categorize the applications, if you divide the applications in the market, 95% of the applications fall into the web applications can category and remaining, you know, uh, four, four, four or more than 4% will fall into the mobile applications category and or somewhere around 1% or less than 1% will fall into the desktop application. Hence, Selenium automating the web applications is more than enough for us because most of the applications fall into the category and we don't have to worry much, okay? If Selenium is not able to, uh, if uh, if a given application is not falling into the web application category, we'll go for APM, mobile application. That means most of, most of the automation work is done like that, okay? Selenium can only automate which type of applications? Only web applications. So hope guys you understood the types of applications that Selenium can automate, that is web applications in simple words. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I am going to explain another topic from this introduction to Selenium category of Selenium Python training series, that is Selenium is free, okay? So see you in the next session. Thank you, bye.